Hey guys, welcome to Android Mate. In this video we are going to create a live streaming mobile app using Zigo Cloud SDK. So before moving to the coding part, let me show you Zigo Cloud's documentation and registration process. For that you have to open Google Chrome or any browser you like, and in the search bar simply type Zigo Cloud and click on the very first link. Zigo Cloud provides a wide range of SDK like voice call, video call, live streaming, in-app chat virtual avatar, AI effect, super board, cloud recording and digital human and also some developer tools like UI kits and their documentation and tutorials. Zigo Cloud supports 18 programming languages with comprehensive quick start guide, tutorials and API references. So let's start building our live streaming app. For that click on the product drop down menu, then select live stream option. Then click on start building, and it will redirect us to the sign up page, because to proceed with Zigo Cloud SDK, we have to get registered first. I would like to tell you that, Zigo Cloud provides you a free 10,000 minutes credit. Let's quickly fill the details. After filling the details, you will get redirected to the dashboard where you will get a pop-up of one more small form, let's fill it too. After reading the benefits, click on the, go to dashboard button. Then click on create your project option, then select the live streaming option and click on the next button. Then enter a desired project name in the project name text field and then click on start with UI kits button. Click on start building your app option, then click on, for android option. Here we might not get much features, because we are not using their premium plan. So simply scroll down and click on save and start to integrate, button. An app id and app sign is created, let's start coding now. So open android studio. Create a new project with no activity. Then give your project a name and select java as a language and build configuration language as groovy dsl. Then add a new class and name this constant. I have made a typo in writing constant, please correct it. Inside constant class file we are going to store app id and app sign. Copy paste both the ids from the dashboard. Then go back to the dashboard again and click on the quick start button. Inside quick start, you will get a fabulous documentation to set up your project. Let's follow the documentation and move further. Add the following snippet in settings.gradle file. If you are using android gradle plugin 7 or earlier, then you won't find settings.gradle file. I recommend you to use the latest plugin. Then click on sync. Then go back to the documentation and copy the dependency and paste it in the app level build.gradle file. Then click on sync. Now inside java folder, create a empty activity and name it main activity. Before creating UI screen, let's remove the action bar from the screen, for that make following changes in themes files. Let's start designing the UI screens, you can design the screen as per your requirement. I'm not going to explain the designing part, however I will add the source code file in the description, you can download it from there.
We are done coding the UI screen, let's write the backend code, for that open the main activity class file. Now let's declare the button and input fields. Then initialize the button and input fields. Then create a string type variable to store to live ID. Then on the live ID field, add a text watcher. Inside on text changed method we are going to check the length of the live ID and based on that we will change the text of the button. Then add a set on click listener on the button. Inside on click listener, we are going to call the method, which will be have the logic of live streaming. Before that we will add some validations on both the fields. Then we will call the start meeting method, and then create the method outside the onCreate method. Before writing the logic for the streaming, let's create the UI of live activity on which, we are going to show live screen. For that create a empty activity, and name it live activity. Then let's quickly design the UI screen. In this UI screen, we are going to add a text view to display live ID and an image view which will be our share button, and a linear layout inside which, we are going to show live screen. Then go to the documentation page of Zigo Cloud. Then go to the documentation page of Zigo Cloud. Where you will get function written for live streaming. Zigo Cloud documentation has really saved our time and efforts in creating this app. Inside this function we require app ID, app sign, user ID, username, host and live ID. So we will get app ID and app sign from the constant file and user ID, username, host and live ID from our main activity. So now open main activity and outside on create function, we are going to create a generate live ID method, to generate random live ID.
Then inside start meeting method, firstly we will generate a host. Then we will create user ID. After that we will redirect user to the live activity using intent and we will pass user ID, name, live ID and host with the intent on the live activity. Then go to the live activity and declare the variable to store the data we have passed from the main activity. Then we will retrieve that data using their keys by get intent and will store it in those variables. Then let's declare and initialize the live activity variables too. We won't be declaring or initializing the linear layout, instead we will call it directly later. Then we will set the live ID to the text view. Then create a method outside on create method and name it add fragment. Inside the method, firstly we will declare the config provided by Zigo Cloud. Then we will add a check here based on host. If the user is starting the live then he will be host or else he will be the audience. Then we will write a code to add or call the fragment which requires app ID, app sign which we will get from constant class, then a add user ID, name, live ID which we are getting from the previous activity and then pass config. Then we will pass our live container which is the linear layout we created in our live activity screen. Now call this method, inside the onCreate method. Then let's write a code for share button. Now, let's update the manifest file, where we will set main activity as a launcher activity and add internet permissions. We are done coding here, let's test our app. I will be testing this app on physical devices. So let's see the output. So here we have two devices, first device is the host through which I am creating the live and the second device is going to join the live. First will not enter live id, he will just enter the name and click on the start live button and on the live screen, he will get his live id which he can share with the second device, so that he can join the live.
So, our app is working fine. I hope this video was helpful for you. Please like, share and subscribe Android Mate for more videos like this.